Hi, I'm Randy Mulder. And I'm Bill Brower. Welcome to this edition of In the Kitchen with your Niagara Home Team. Today we're here at 4442 Cinnamon Grove here in Niagara Falls. And since we're in this beautiful kitchen and we're on Cinnamon Grove, we decided what better to make today than cinnamon buns. I love cinnamon buns. <laughs> Who doesn't love cinnamon buns? Anyhow, since Bill and I, neither of us knows what we're doing in terms of making cinnamon buns, we decided to call in an expert. So let's welcome Sarah Huseman from the Red Barn in Jordan. Hi Sarah, thanks for joining us today. No problem, thanks for having me. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the Red Barn and, uh, and then later what, what we're cooking today. All right, so um, we are a on-farm market and bakery um, in Jordan Station on Jordan Road. We open the May 2-4 weekend and close usually somewhere after Thanksgiving. Um, we provide the area with seasonal produce and local baked goods. Fantastic. And you're covering uh, the best basic recipe today for cinnamon rolls. Yeah, so it's one of my favorite recipes. Um, who doesn't love a cinnamon roll? Yeah, everybody. Um, they're <laughs> pretty simple rolls. to make, pretty simple to make, so we'll go through that. All right. Amazing. Let's start baking. Let's get baking. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is gather our ingredients, which are over there. And Bill, if you could grab the mixer just back here. I'd love to. And we're going to be using our dough hook today. Uh, some flour, some butter, some sugar, um, some whole milk. I like to use whole milk because there's more fat in it. And who doesn't like more fat? Um, we have some salt just to offset some of the sweetness in Who's the dough. Who's cracking the eggs today? Um, you guys can fight about it. I don't okay. know. Uh, I don't <laughs> know has more Rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> yeah, no, you win. Uh, some eggs and then some active dry yeast. Just make sure it's not instant active yeast because um, the dough would rise way too fast otherwise. Step one, we're going to take our bowl and we are going to just dump the flour in. So if someone wants to sure, I'd dump love the to do flour that. in, make sure you don't. Sometimes it poofs all over the place, but there we go. that's fine. Perfect. Next, we're going to add our sugar. So oh, if you want to add the sugar in, that would be just, wonderful. Just totally. Just totally, just dump it right in. And then on top of that, we're going to add, no. yeah. we're going to add our salt. So if you want to dump the salt in there. Okay. What's going to happen next is we're just going to incorporate all the dry ingredients. So I hope you guys wash your hands. I did. Whoever did. Yeah. Um, you can just mix it with your fingers. <laughs> mix it with your fingers? Yep. So you just nice. mix it around with your fingers. Just so that the sugar gets incorporated into the flour and the salt. Can we get you to do this actually? <laughs> no way! No way! I trust you guys fully. Okay. Now we're gonna head over to our mixer and we're gonna put our dry mix into there. And we're going to put our dough hook on. And we're gonna actually put it on a super low, low speed. Ooh, okay. So like either stir or two, that's the max. Um, and right now, we're actually just going to add our butter. Break it into small chunks, um, just so that when we turn our mixer on, it's not all just one big huge clump. And so it will disperse evenly. And I'm going to have to wash my hands because that was pretty sticky. And if someone wants to crack the eggs on top of that... There you go, Bill. Egg crack time. So I'm doing it right here. Get it cracking. Try not to get any eggshells in here for you guys. That's right. We can turn the mixer on to stir. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna pop the milk into the microwave for 30 seconds to warm it up. Here's our yeast. We're just gonna sprinkle our yeast right on top there. And make sure your milk isn't too hot, otherwise you'll actually kill your yeast. Don't so, wanna do that. Okay, so we're gonna turn this on. This is really exciting. Oh yes. <laughs> we're just gonna mix this. We'll turn it up a little to make things more exciting. Um, so that the eggs are kind of broken up and the butter's kind of broken up. And then we're just gonna dump this in slowly, so whoever wants to do that can. You want me to do it? Alright. Thank you, Bill. Here we go. Slowly. I know, I don't want to spill it. Though. Oh, you can dump it all at once. Yeah? Fine. Yeah. Um, it takes a couple minutes to come together. Um, right now it looks kind of crumbly and brittle, but we're looking for a nice, smooth, elastic dough. Okay, we're going to use our time machine here for a minute. All right, and we'll be back. The amazing time machine. All right, so um, our dough has been mixing for a couple minutes and it just started to come together in the bowl. Um, so we're just going to dump it out actually onto the counter. Um, and we're going to knead it for approximately 15 minutes. So. Um, have either of you kneaded dough before, bread dough? No, but I'm pretty needy. You're pretty yeah. needy? Okay, yeah, yeah, so this should work, this should work. So you just basically fold it on top of itself, 
um, oh, you for 15 try. minutes. You got, you've tried that all the I can do for 15 minutes, Bill. <laughs> all right. Okay. Can you do it right or am I kind of... You're this supposed is... to fold it over itself. You okay. almost look like a massage. There you go. There you yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. How's that? Whoa. Is that good? Oh, I kind of mix it. Do it again. Do another full. Okay. Yep. Okay, my turn. All right. It's all yours, Randy. Here, tag out. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Great work. Whoa. <laughs> nice. All right. So our dough has been kneaded for approximately 15 minutes and we're the stronger for it. <laughs> Um, so we're just going to take our dough ball and make sure that it's nice and smooth on the top and nice and round. Um, and we're just going to place it back into the bowl that we mixed in. And we're going to put it... Oh yeah, you got to give it a little, little love tap. tap. Nice. Okay. <laughs> and so we're just going to put it into our oven um, for an hour to rise. Alright, so while that's in the oven for an hour, we're going to use our time machine and we're going to move fast forward an hour again. Here we go and... Alright, so it's been about an hour, so we're going to check to see if our dough has doubled in size because that's what we're looking for. So, if you'll notice, the dough has expanded right. quite a bit. It smells bit. really good too. Someone's going to need to punch this down. Punch it down? Punch, punch it down. Get your aggression out right here. Perfect. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, okay. Bill that's Brower, good. I totally oh. <laughs> Alright, and we're just going to dump it right out onto our clean counter surface and now we're going to shape it into a rectangle. So this is about actually probably as, as Okay, so go that wide and I'll wide smooth and then, it out the other way. Yeah. Should I circle on this way to kind of? Yeah. Is that the trick? That is the trick. And then I That's always why we have you here today. spread out the corners like this. Oh, I like that. That's so a good That's a rectangle. Making, That's we're making more so of a rectangle much more, here. we're good to go. Yeah. All right. So now we have our rectangle and we'll move on to the next step. All right, so now we're gonna fill our cinnamon rolls with a delicious cinnamon filling, um, which is made up of butter, cinnamon, brown sugar, and salt. All right, so I'm just gonna take some softened, unsalted butter. I'm just gonna dot it all over the dough like so. Alright, so our butter is pretty evenly dispersed and if someone wants to mix actually the cinnamon and the sugar for so me. Just with your that hands again? Be, yep. Just dump it in and go, right? Dump it in and go. And there's a little salt in there already? Yeah, a little salt because we used unsalted butter. It's just easier to control how much salt is in there when you use unsalted butter. Um, and then you can always just add your own. I, oh, I love cinnamon. Oh it is goodness, the really best good. spice. Can I have a little smell? Go for it. Pretty pure. Yep. So then we're just going to sprinkle this cinnamon sugar mixture on top. So we're just going to spread that evenly, um, leaving an inch of dough closest to ourselves. And we're going to start then rolling um, the side furthest away from us, the long side furthest away. And we're just going to roll it kind of tightly so that we have a nice, Log. Oh man. Like that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to cut um, our cinnamon rolls and I like to use a serrated knife just because it goes through the dough a lot nicer. So we need 12 rolls. Do you think you can give us 12 rolls? I can give it a shot. So All right. Hopefully we come out with 12. <laughs> Thank you. Start in the middle. Is that the best strategy? Or? I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah? We'll start in the middle. All right, so now these are also gonna rise for another hour um, or so that they're doubled in size. So I'm just gonna put them back into our warmed up oven. All right, for how long? For one hour. Okay, I gotta set my time machine, one hour. Okay, I'm ready. We came back a little early because we wanna do the icing before the uh, Cinnabons in the oven that are rising are ready to go, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You add go some ahead. Butter. Add the butter. Yep, unsalted as well uh, because we're going to add some salty cream cheese. I think cream cheese icing is the best icing for cinnamon buns, personally. Oh, you better let. Uh... Um, that is vanilla. We're just going to add, I like to use vanilla bean paste. It just has a nicer vanilla flavor. Um, and then we're just going to dump about three quarters of that bag of icing sugar right. right on into the bag. Tell me one of them too. That's probably about it. Depends on, yeah, that's perfect. I see that's three quarters. Depends how sweet you like it. I like it pretty sweet. Right. <laughs> then we're going to use our paddle attachment this time. Hmm. We're going to raise our bowl, put it on low, otherwise we'll have icing sugar right. everywhere. And yeah, just whip it up for about 
five minutes until it's uh, fully incorporated and nice and fluffy. Okay, five minutes. All right, so our icing is nice and white and fluffy. I don't know if you can see that. And all incorporated, super delicious. We may or may not have tried some already. Um, but I'm gonna need that spatula just so I can scrape down the sides of the bowl. Thank you. Anyway, apron would come in handy. <laughs> we're just gonna make a nice puddle in the bottom of this bowl of icing, and then we're just gonna set it aside and wait for our cinnamon buns to be cooked. And our cinnamon buns should be ready. So if someone could check on those for me, that would be great. How's that? Those are perfect. Okay. That's awesome. They look really good. I like to let them cool just a little bit before we ice them, but for the sake of time, why don't we just ice them right now? I wish we had a spoon. So just a nice little spoon? spread kind of thing. Is there a spoon um, anywhere? Yeah, I think I got one in my apron somewhere. Here it is. Amazing. <laughs> I'm left-handed, so maybe you go on the right side? All right. All right. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. So there we have it. You guys did a wonderful job. Thank you for helping me make these cinnamon buns. That was great. They look delicious. So now you just let them sit, let the icing melt a bit, and then yeah. in five minutes you can serve them? You can delve right into them, yeah. Can I bring one home for my wife? She would love it. Oh yeah, you yeah. can bring more than one home. Yeah? yeah? Awesome. All right, well thanks a lot, Sarah. Uh, we just want to say uh, a couple things in closing. First of all, thanks to Joe Cooks dot com for the recipe if you go online to jocooks.com that's where the cinnamon bun recipe uh, started from so thanks to them and thanks to sarah for uh, coming down and, and leading us through this because there's no way bill and i get anything close to that hey, on our own so you thanks guys a lot. did great no problem make sure you guys like and uh, share this post on facebook we thank uh, sarah for coming out and uh, also like and share it to win a dozen uh, cinnamon buns from your niagara home team and the red barn if you want more information on this house, go to yourniagarahome.com and look for 4442 Cinnamon Grove. Or you can visit us at theredbarnfarmmarketandbakery.com. That's a long, the Red Barn Farm Market and Bakery.com. Yes. That's a lot of letters. It is all the other Red Barn Type websites. It once they and were save taken it. already. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot, guys. Make it a great day. Thanks again. See you later.